Hello friends of seblogappsblogspot.com Today I'm gonna show you how you can easily create an Android application to stream a radio station. If you are not familiar with the Android App Inventor you can find the link in my description where you can set up and install all the required application. First of all we are going to use Chrome and we are going to go to the address of beta dot appinvento.mit.edu okay it will ask which account you want to use for your for using the MIT App Inventor select uh, your Google account you must have one Google account of course you will see uh, s uh, windows like this and uh, uh, my project windows list all your projects that you have done previously is the list of all of my project we will create a new one called tutorial underscore eng underscore simple radio because it will be a radio streaming application okay so again the name of the application will be simple radio you see here is the title and now I'm going to show you which component you have to put on the design editor that is this window to create uh, the application. I like to start with a nice background image so I click on the background image and I choose a file that I prepared uh, before which is this one but of course you are free to use any image that you like. Remember to set the background color to none else you will not see your actual background in your application. Now I want to put an horizontal arrangement to put nice looking buttons in our application. We will have three buttons so I put here the three buttons and uh, the first one will be for playing the stream so I will call it button play the second and I don't need text and I'll explain you in a, a moment why you don't need text then there will be button stop and again without any text and the last one will be the button to exit uh, the application so button exit why we don't have a text in here because I want to use images instead of text on the buttons. From the Iconspedia I downloaded some freeware images that I'm going to load by clicking on image, upload new and choosing the file. If you want to see with the icons this is the, okay, the button for the play. I will put it in the play position then I will select the one for the stop and in the image I will upload the button with the stop image and last but not least for the exit I'm choosing the best file that I found that is this one like an eject button okay so this will be my three controls for our radio streaming application now I also want to do the application look a bit better so I'm going to put an image in the before the button and the picture you can choose your own what you would like I would like a pop music logo so I'm putting the pop music logo that I found again on a freeware in the internet if it's a PNG file you can have a transparent uh, background on it uh, also I don't like the application to be aligned all on the left so I select the screen one the align horizontal will be centered and if I want to align it also vertically I just have to uh, uh, unselect the scrollable so the application cannot uh, scroll up and down so I can do the vertical alignment on center so I will have a centered application the last component to be is on the media palette this is the palette with all our component is the player that will be actual the player of the uh, stream mp3 stream is supported now it's time to open the blocks editor well the where the actual code of our application will be uh, coded 
If you are not so familiar with App Inventor and the Design Editor, Blocks Editor, you can find a lot of tutorials on the internet or in the YouTube uh, channels and videos. But uh, for our purpose, just open the Blocks Editor. I have the Java Debug uh, uh, console open, but actually is not really needed. Few seconds will bring up our blocks editor where we can code the functionality of the button for the play the stop and the exit of our application okay it will take just a few more seconds okay so stay tuned for part two of the video where we will continue with the blocks editor